So I'm doing what I always do, scrolling on Twitter or X, whatever you guys want to call it. But we had actually something interesting. These past few weekends or week, there have been a lot of Splatoon events that have been going on, like Splatoon tournaments at uh, Gamescom. I believe the Germany had their tournament also around that time also. And this weekend, I believe Nintendo is having their event. I don't I don't know. I just hear like a bunch of Splatoon players on Twitter saying that there's going to be something happening. And that's basically it. Is it the first or the fourth? Yeah, uh, it's Nintendo Live. My bad. So funny enough, we had Matthew actually Ninja uh, that was basically saying actual actual piss take. Unfortunately, Nintendo forgot that not everyone is still a 14 year old with unlimited free time that can make themselves appear wherever they wish on a whim. And for many of you that don't know, Nintendo does a very bad job of telling people when these tournaments will be and for people to compete. So a lot of people find out last minute, not enough time to take a break not enough time to actually even call out of work. And then on the biggest topic about it is school. So a lot of people don't know what's gonna be going to happen like for their classes, testing, things like that. So how can you seriously announce a tournament this big so close to the day? And as I explained, that's basically been a lot of these issues. This has been a common issue for years with like Nintendo. A lot of times you need to give people a little bit more notice but again it's nintendo so it's like we're nintendo what can you do about it and that's basically how they move so like i can't be mad about it it's not something i'm upset about anyway i'm not good enough to make it in these tournaments so even just so i just want to say what's up guys i hope you guys are having an amazing day again my name is ken ken knows if you guys haven't please make sure to like comment and subscribe and i hope that you guys have been enjoying these style of videos because I've been enjoying doing them. And as I said, if you like them, please make sure to like as much as you possibly can and turn those notifications on. If you've noticed, the schedule's kind of been Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And that goes along with my Twitch, which at 5 p.m. EDT, I'm usually live. So please follow me on Twitch. Like, this isn't a joke. I keep saying this. Follow me on Twitch. But funny enough, literally tomorrow, we're going to be getting a... Nintendo Direct. Now, the Nintendo Direct is more of an in-depth look uh, at Mario's latest side-scrolling adventure in the live stream Super Mario Bros. Wonder Direct, August 31st, 7 a.m. PT, 10 a.m. ET, roughly 15 minutes. So yeah, you get to watch the Nintendo Direct. I'm most likely gonna be live. That's why I've been plugging my Twitch. So that's earlier in the day, but I wanna I wanna check this out. I'm actually very interested in Mario Wonder. Like I really love 2D Mario. I love 2D games just in general. I wish that I could talk about more about that on the channel. Huge Metroidvania fan. So I love 2D games. They are some of my favorite games, possibly because I grew up in an era where 2D games were pop popular. So I'm looking forward to this and I'm very excited to to give this a try, see what they have to show for it. And of course, along with that, because of the fact that it's a direct in August, people were speculating that there may not be a September direct. And I have to ask the question, why do we do this every single year? It's very interesting that people like fawn over Nintendo directs, but like, at the same time, Nintendo's going to do it. They're going to do something. They have to. Yearly. Like, they, they're going to do something. Please. So, we had Arrow, actual Arrow. Why are people saying, does the Super Mario Bros. Wonder Direct mean we won't get a September Direct anymore? There was a game-specific Splatoon 3 Direct last year. And then, a 45-minute Direct next month it just means there's prob won't be a mario wonder section in it now which you should be happy about and I, I, come on guys come on there's we all know that there's prob we have the the biggest sales month in the year coming up december so they have to come up with something else they're probably going to sell another switch redesign and 
we we're gonna get something we're gonna find out something and whenever it happens it happens i just find it interesting that people get upset about that but we did have a little bit of splatoon news not anything super out of the ordinary but we did get more on crab leg capital so they went in on in depth on it srl real estate here with an exciting new listing crab leg capital granted the site is still under development but what a hot location smack dab in the heart of the financial district this new stage offers all kinds of strategic opportunities if you're not afraid of heights so they gave a little bit more of a scenic view which i'm probably showing on your screen basically showing like that it's really high up, first of all. And secondly, the, the stage looks good, in my opinion. I actually think I, I, I like it a lot. There's a lot of layers to this one. A, a lot, a lot of layers. And I kind of like that there's a lot more cover. There's a lot more places to go. They showed just how in-depth this map could be or just how good it could be, possibly. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that it's going to be a good one. I'm hoping there's no surprises like E-Leader is going to hold you down on the map. But... Also, we're being told by a social team that more than 80 new banners and over 400 new titles will be added for Drizzle season. As always, you can get them from the catalog or from random pulls on the shell out machine. Never been a better time to freshen up that splash tag. SRL social team here. Want to be notified when if a friend uploads a battle replay? Of course you do. How else can you celebrate and slash or taunt them? You'll now receive a notification that allows you to download replays so you can immediately share in the glory or LOL up to you. Now, I'm going to say this right now. This is, in my opinion, great. This is a very good thing. One of the things that I've said I wish that Splatoon has is like either a forum where you can like share clips, you can share videos, you can share like different types of weapons. And that was just inside the main game of Splatoon. This is somewhat close to it. Obviously, yes, it's with your friends and you get to just now see their replays. You don't have to actually send them if you have a really good match. So I, I think it's actually a really a good thing. In my, in my humble opinion, I think it's a great thing. Speaking of sharing and, and the glory, friends and players in the same pool will now receive a notification when you score an especially sweet item from the shellout machine and vice versa. You'll be notified when they score. Send a fresh to let, uh, let them know you're thinking of them. No, why would I be happy that somebody else got the banner that I'm looking for? Please, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna send you a fresh just because of the fact that you got a gold banner. It takes forever to find those things in the shellout machine. I don't look at my seed at all. I just I just keep on spending. It doesn't make a difference to me personally. But one last finding today: you can now go on the weekend directly from the stages menu. That includes regular battle and anarchy battle stages. And that includes not just current stages, but upcoming stages. If you want to take your game to the next level, this gives you a tentacle up. And I, I just have to say that great changes, nothing super crazy quality of life updates, things that are great for the game. In my opinion, I think that this is what I like to see with Splatoon because it, it just means that like, they're trying to like tune up and polish certain things. Now, can somebody argue that it should have been there at the beginning of the game? Possibly, but this is the process of Splatoon. So we're seeing something built right in front of our eyes. And I think that's what a lot of people may need to realize and something that I've just accepted because that's exactly what it feels like at this point. Now, you know, I like to talk about Twitter. Twitter is one of my favorite places. Twitter is one of my favorite places. I refuse it to call the other name. So I'm gonna show you guys a clip. Paperwax to try and close. Where's that from? That can't be from in here, surely. <laughs> is that a bigger reaction than Ten's got? Yeah, I think so. Damn. Must be nice. Ten to five. Locus back on the game now. Paper X. Another challenge for them. 10 rounds. <laughs> this crowd's funny. 
You saw that. They were telling him to bring back Twitter. And that's exactly what should happen. I'm sorry. I just had to show that. That is absolutely hilarious, in my opinion, that you, everybody has the public opinion to let you know that your website and what you call it is terrible. Please bring back Twitter. Bring back the bird. It's a perfect marketing. I don't care what anybody tells me. It's absolutely perfect. So can we please get back to that? One other thing that I did want to talk about. Sometimes I read tweets and I wonder if these people are okay. Like, I wonder if this tweet was like crafted by a person genuinely that still lives in this like time. Like, so, you know, you know, when we talk about like time travelers, this is what I'm thinking of because there's no way that in 2023, we still have console wars going on. I need to show you a clip. So for some of you that may not understand, I'm going to read the tweet from Beast of Truth. PlayStation fanboys always want to talk trash and harass Xbox fans who just want to enjoy their amazing games. Speaking of boundaries, weren't we told that we're, we'd be able to explore New York City in Sony Spider-Man games? I don't suppose I could catch the ferry to the Bronx? <laughs> Bro, this is one of the weirdest things that I have ever seen, and I'm sorry I had to share it with you guys. If I have to read it, you guys are gonna have to read it also. Hey, what's safe for YouTube? YouTube, of course. I don't, I don't want to get in trouble. But what, this is one of the funniest things ever, and especially from being from New York, you understand that automatically. First, when they're referring to New York City, they're always referring to Manhattan. That's what everybody calls New York City when they're talking about it. Nobody's talking about the Bronx. So, like, I get it. And yes, obviously, Peter Parker is from uh, Queens. I understand that. But on the same time, at the same time, who cares? Who cares? Why is anybody? Like, the thing is, the, the problem that I have with this situation is that you realize is that there's a possibility that this could be a grown adult. Because console wars are from, like, the 2000s. And anybody still arguing about this in 2023, I would like you to seek help, please. And we're going to move on to the last topic of today. And I saw this tweet and I was just like, I got to talk about this. Why do you keep going back to that video game that makes you angry? Now, as many of you guys may know, I love Splatoon. Splatoon and I have a very, very, very toxic relationship. It's gotten better. I'm, I'm going to be very honest with you guys. It's gotten better. Because I've been enjoying Splatoon 3 a lot. And there is something under Splatoon 3 that I absolutely adore. And it's the gameplay. And I've been playing a lot of Forge lately. And I, I've been less... And also on top of that, I don't play X Battles. So that, that might help with that a lot. I play Series and Open. But I get it. I get why people feel angry when playing a video game. Because there's like this thought process that... People can't enjoy something when they're angry. I get it. If you're throwing things, breaking things, anything along that line, that might be a little bit too far. And I get that. I understand that. But one of the things that like a lot of people don't understand was when it comes to like playing something either competitively. Now, a single player game that's like maybe a little bit too hard. I understand the frustration there, right? But a lot of the games that we play outside, like a single player game, like a Mario game, some of them, the newer ones are more of a walk in the park is what I'm talking about. You expect to like have a fun time. Now, one of the things is when you have expectations and you believe that you're coming into a game where you want to win, you want to dominate. A lot of multiplayer games. It can get you very frustrated. That doesn't mean that you absolutely hate the game because you love the game when you're winning. But you hate the game and makes you angry when you're losing. And I have experienced this to an, the umpteenth degree. 
Because if you've ever seen me play Splatoon 2, woo, I was very angry. I'm not going to lie to you. I had to actually take a break because of that. Genuinely, I, I had to take a break from Splatoon 2. But in Splatoon 3, I think I found a better lane with it. And I, I will say that, yes, there, there is a possibility to have a better balance. Being frustrated at the game every here and there is perfectly fine. As I said, if you've ever seen people play sports, they're mad the whole entire time. And then once they're done, it's like, you know, laughing, joking or whatever. So I just wanted to talk about that because I thought it was a very interesting tweet. Let me know what you guys think about these topics. Please tell me in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Please like, comment and subscribe. I'm going to catch you guys later. Have an amazing day. Peace out.